Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. It is about 7 o'clock right now. I'm out in Phoenix at the Extreme Bench Rest and we're getting ready for the first event here which is the Extreme Field Target where there's targets anywhere from 15 yards out to 100 and they have a 100 foot pound limit. And so you'll see a lot of different guns here, a lot of different shooters. It is very competitive. Um, I plan on walking you guys through this course and we'll see if we can follow a couple of shooters and um, that'll give you guys an idea of what it's like to shoot this event. So I'm Wes Crisp. I'm here at uh, Extreme Bench Dress 2024. Just got done shooting the Extreme Field Target course with my uh, 22 caliber Day State Red Wolf with a Safari stock. It's got a 0 dB moderator on it and a PRS butt hook um, running a Vortex Razor scope on it. And had a, a tough day this morning. The wind was a little shifty and caught me out several times, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Enjoy it very much. I think the first thing is um, don't make the mistake that, that most of us make. Yeah, buy uh, decent equipment to begin with so that if something doesn't go the way you want it to, it's your technique or something you can modify. You're not questioning whether it's you or the equipment. Um, and then just pick it up and start practicing. There are a bunch of events around. There are extreme field target events, uh, regular distance field target events, and really you just need to go out and see it. In fact, the way that I learned was I, actually, I just showed up at an event and looked to see the equipment that everybody had, asked a million silly questions. Everybody was super welcoming and helpful, and I really learned a lot that, that uh, first time. That sort of set me off on the right foot. So this is the uh, Eval Mini 30 HPS, and uh, we do have a moderator for it as well that's coming. Just wasn't completed yet for EBR. Uh, generally at 80 foot pounds, you'll get nine shots, one full magazine. If you turn it down to about 65 foot pounds, you'll get two full magazines out of this gun. Um, not really designed for field target and competition. This is more for, you know, small game, you know, backpack carry gun that has some good terminal performance. I just shot field target with this gun and more just for for fun and see what you know see what we can do and see where you know what works and what doesn't going in knowing that with a little gun that's very lightweight very difficult to shoot off sticks but uh, you know made some of the good long shots my dope was essentially correct but uh, you know it's be me me behind the trigger so that's what we get just taking a little water break right now thankfully it's not as hot as it was yesterday i think it's in the low 90s i'm gonna take us over to the steel scramble we'll check that out i want to check in with a a few friends and see what they're up to we'll check out a few different guns and i'm just trying to give you guys some coverage on some of the stuff that you'll see at these events because there's a lot of people here and there's a lot of different brands of air guns and I think it's kind of interesting to see what everybody's using. Hey guys, my name is Dylan Trelore. I'm with Bold North Air Guns. We are out here at Extreme Bench Rest 2024. I'm shooting the uh, NRL event that we have going on. It's really cool. I like it because you're going from station to station and shooting off of different obstacles. It's something that I've never done and it's quite the experience. It's very difficult. There's even some moving targets out there, which is quite the challenge, but it's been a blast. Um, I'm waiting to shoot my next lane and I can't wait to finish off. Thank you. 
Hey, I'm Ron. We're here at EBR having a great time. Come every year and uh, see all our friends, look at the competitions and all. Been telling my wife Gertrude here about it and uh, she finally talked her into coming. Um, it was a long ride, uh, you can tell. Um, so, went a little too fast, kind of blew a few things off her, but uh, she's still doing okay and uh, we're going to see if we can get her out there and do some shooting too. So I have been out here all day, it's about 4.30, I'm pretty beat, I shot a lot of footage for you guys. And not all of it is going to be shown in this video, I just wanted to show you guys the basics of what went on, the extreme field target and the steel scramble. Tomorrow is the big bore competition and the 50 yard bench rest. And so I'm going to show you guys both of those events. We'll check out um, some of the shooters, some of the gear they're using. And I'm going to show you guys a couple new products that I got wind of today. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. Um, keep posted on Tristan over at Atlas Air Guns YouTube channel. He's going to be putting out a lot of footage of this event. It's a lot of fun out here, it is pretty hot, and it is a lot of work to get out and film all this for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. That would look neat, I think. <laughs>